Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose Stops Buying Stuff. Today we've got another empties video. I'm a little bit behind on my empties filming, so I've got three empties videos to get out before we finish off my inventory for the year and see if I've met my makeup rehab goals. But I've tried to make it a little bit festive. I put down some, some Christmas paper and there's some Christmas cards in the background and a little bit of light. So yeah, um, I hope your December is going well so far. I hope you're all excited for the festive season. I just hope you're having a nice December if you don't actually celebrate Christmas. And yeah, let's get on into what I have used up and what has contributed towards my Reverse Rouge Makeup Rehab totals and goals. In this empties video, there are four cleansers. So the first one is from Clarins. It's their cleansing milk. It's just a little 10 ml size which was worth $1.65 towards my reverse rouge total. I do find a lot of the Clarins products are quite scented and things, which this was. It didn't irritate my skin, but it's just something to be aware of. I thought this was quite nice and quite gentle, but I don't think I'd rush out to repurchase it. I don't think it was anything massively special, but at the same time, if I got it again, I would use it up again. Also used up this from Kiehl's. So this is a full-size face wash, illa skin calming facial cleanser. This would be my cleanser of choice. This is what I would probably repurchase. Although I do really like, I'm currently using the La Roche-Posay, the Telerian, I think you pronounce it, um, cleanser, which is very, very similar. Um, so great for kind of dry, sensitive, tight skin. I'm quite oily. Um, and I don't think this makes me more oily, but I'm very sensitive and I do feel that this soothes my skin. So I would definitely repurchase this one. And this was worth $26 towards my reverse rouge total. Thirdly, I used up this from Pi. I really, really like this Camellia and Rose um, Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. I actually use this more as a makeup remover than a cleanser. I used it as a first cleanse straight onto dry skin and I really, really liked it. I could take it right over my eyes. It didn't irritate me and I would definitely, definitely repurchase it. I feel like this is a brand that I'm always kind of interested in. Um, I've not tried very much, but the couple of things I have tried, I really like. Um, it's not the easiest brand to get a hold of. You used to get it in Whole Foods, but Whole Foods in Glasgow shut quite a while ago now. And I can't think of anywhere else that I can kind of walk in and see these products. And I feel like as much as I'll online shop for things that I know what they are, if I'm buying new things, um, I prefer to go in and sort of see the testers and feel the textures and things, which I know we're maybe not actually doing at the moment in terms of COVID anyway. But yeah, it, it's a brand that I'm interested in, but I don't get much access to. Um, and I feel like with beauty brands, I like to see them in person. Brands that I probably would like to do some more research into and would like to be stocked in more places. And if it was more stocked and more easily available and I was going to see it in front of my face, I would definitely, definitely pick this up. And that was worth $30 towards my reverse rouge total. And then the last cleanser is another smaller one. This is a travel size. It's the Melanin Gats grapefruit face cleanser and this was worth $4.18 towards my reverse rouge total. I did like this, it foams up but it doesn't feel like it dries my face out too much but I actually ended up finishing this up using it as a body wash rather than a facial cleanser. I have kind of used most of my shower gels, the ones that I've got left now are more expensive ones whereas I've got loads and loads of face cleansers so I'm actually going to be trying to use up some of my face cleansers as body washes just because there's no point in buying more body wash when I'm never going to be able to get through the amount of cleanser I've got before it turns anyway so I may as well use it to use it for something but I do really like this as a body wash actually because it foams up so well and so nicely. I probably wouldn't repurchase it with the intention of being to use it up as a body wash when it is a face wash but if I got it again I would definitely use it up again. So they were my four cleansers that I'd used up. I've only got one toner to show you in this empties video and it is this one from Pixie. I did like it but I really like the Kiehl's Vitamin C um, brightening toner and that's the one that I would pick to repurchase over this one. However, I used this up and it was worth $10 towards my reverse rouge total. I finished up three serums within this empties. First one is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. It was worth $16.10 towards my reverse rouge total. I've already, I think, talked you through the replacements of these because I replaced that with the Kiehl's Hydrating Serum, which is the one that I'd used before. And I really liked it and I wanted to give the Ordinary one a go. I wanted to give, you know, a chance at a more kind of budget-friendly replacement, but I felt like I just didn't love the texture of that one. I felt like it was quite sticky. So I just went back to the Kiehl's one. However, I, I mentioned that in my August Money Diary video and somebody left me a comment. Wait till I just try and find it so I say the right thing here. They had suggested 
the Ordinary Marine Hyaluronics, which is a very thin, watery consistency um, and much nicer, in this person's opinion, than the sticky consistency of the one that I'm showing you. So the just the normal hyaluronic acid that's the 2% plus vitamin B5. I mean, I did, I finished it up and I would use it again if I had it again and I felt like it was effective. I feel like the Kiehl's one does more because it is that retexturizing as well and plumping rather than just hydrating, whereas I felt like the ordinary one did just hydrate. But I feel like when I've finished my Kiehl's one, I'm going to go and try and track down the marine hyaluronics one from the ordinary because I feel like, you know, may as well give it a shot. So, I don't know if I'd rush to repurchase this particular one, but obviously I'm not put off the brand and if I had it again, I would use it up again. In terms of a vitamin C serum, I finished up this one from the Inculus, which was worth £14.99 towards my reverse rouge. I can't remember if this is the first or the second one that I've shown you that I finished up because I finished this already and repurchased it, so I'm not sure if this is the second one or not. But obviously that kind of speaks for itself that I liked it enough that I purchased it again. When I finished this one, I'd replaced it with one from The Ordinary actually just to try a different vitamin c i feel like i am just kind of unless something really blows me away i do just kind of like chopping and changing and trying new things but obviously I've, i'd gone through two of these by the time i switched to the ordinary one and i would definitely go back to it i just kind of fancied a change so yeah nothing bad to say about this i did like it and i would I would definitely, I did repurchase it already and I would repurchase it again with no hesitation. And then the last serum that I finished up in this empties is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. So this was worth $103 towards my reverse rouge total. This is the one serum that I don't actually chop and change with. I have kind of consistently repurchased this serum for years and I have already repurchased this one. This is one of those serums that if you actually had, if I had was totally honest, I'd be like, I'm not sure what this exactly does for my skin but I just know my skin looks better when I'm using it. I've gone through phases of not using it and my skin just doesn't look as nice. I feel like it helps any kind of breakouts, it helps repair them better, it helps keep my skin smoother, clearer. It just helps my skin but not in a way that I could honestly say that I feel like it targets a certain thing. It just kind of does a nice all round job and I feel like if I was only going to use one serum for the rest of my life, that's the one I would pick. I've already repurchased that one. On to the eye products that I've used up. First of all, I finished up this from Origins for a three part Harmony eye cream, which was worth $69. So this was a really, it was a 30 ml eye cream um, and usually an eye cream is 15 ml. But if you look at the inside of this, this was actually two eye creams. So you've got a day eye cream and a night eye cream in it. So although it was much more expensive, it was kind of the equivalent of two standard eye creams that you would have bought individually and probably spent more money on. Anyway, I really, really liked the nighttime eye cream in this. I felt like the daytime one was quite similar to the Origins Ginseng eye cream, which I'm not a massive fan of and I feel like it kind of exacerbates my eczema. So what happened was I actually finished the night eye cream much, much quicker because as soon as my eyes were a little bit sensitised, I couldn't use the daytime one in this. So it took me a while to actually finish it and I wouldn't repurchase it for that reason. But I really, really like the nighttime eye cream and I think it's such a good idea having your day and your nighttime eye cream in one pot. If I had got along better with the daytime one, I would definitely, definitely repurchase this. One that I will repurchase is this. So this was actually a deluxe sample, as you can see. It wasn't one that I purchased in the first place. This is from Algenist and it is the Elevate eye cream. So I had three of these deluxe samples. Obviously, I've only finished one in this video. Um, and it's worth $24 for this 5ml, so it is obviously an expensive one when it's full size. I feel like this really firms up my eye area. So I'm in my late 20s, so I do feel like I do see a difference with firming products now, but I'm still not obviously really far into the aging process, so I feel like if I'm seeing a difference, then that really speaks volumes about how effective it could be on skin that is even looser than mine. So I would definitely, definitely purchase the full size of this eye cream. I'm saving my last deluxe sample of it for like the last eye cream that I used from my stash because I love it so, so much. Absolutely love that. Really, really highly recommend that one. And then I finished up two eye masks. One of them was this one from Garnier, which was worth $3 towards my reverse rouge total, and it's just a little bit like like a sheet mask but it's just for your eyes so I really really like them. Obviously I don't think there's really any long-term benefits but before a night out or you know if you're getting pictures taken or various other things that we're probably not actually doing at the moment I think these are very very effective or even if like because I've got eczema and things around my eyes 
it's just nice to have that sort of intense boost of hydration every so often so I finished up that one and then on a similar vein I finished this one from the creme shop so my friend Lindsay actually got me these for my birthday last year and she got them because they were like masquerade themed and it reminded her of Gossip Girl which is my like go-to tv show that I've binged so many times over and I actually really really like these so she got me a pack of three each one was worth four dollars so this individual one is worth four dollars um, and I've thoroughly enjoyed using all of them so I would definitely definitely repurchase this was really really big like these if you can see like are just little like sort of teardrop sashes that go under your eyes this was like a sort of full almost like your upper face was fully covered if you can see on the back here you know it was like a real kind of full half face mask as opposed to just being under eye patches so I feel like you got more mask with these ones as well technically in comparison to the Garnier ones so yeah that was four eye products that I finished up I finished up one moisturizer so this is the Origins Mega Mushroom Moisturizer the 50ml size which was worth six to eight dollars towards my reverse rouge total I love this moisturizer my grand doesn't like it because of the smell I actually had this on holiday last year even when I was using it in the room which would be like I hate the smell of that moisturizer so it is maybe worth sniffing it in the store i personally don't find the smell it's kind of herbally but i mean i don't find the smell off pussing as i said i've got very sensitive skin and i feel like this is a really really good one for calming my skin down it is quite a thick moisturizer so i tend to use it at night i've gone through multiple tubs of this i've got loads of moisturizer still to go through so i haven't immediately repurchased this but i definitely will repurchase this in the future I think for anyone with like sensitive skin this is just such a great product. I used up five sheet masks. I've said before I feel like with sheet masks there's obviously no real long-term benefits it's the sort of one-off that you use on a sort of special occasion or to give yourself that extra boost or whatever. I had no issues with any of these. I would use any of them again. The one I really want to highlight though is this one from Patchology. It's their Illuminate one and it's worth $6 towards my reverse rouge total so it's actually the most affordable out of all of these although I think that is in the US whereas I feel like this is £8 to buy here and the Origins ones are 5 or £6 so not quite the same in the UK but I saw a massive massive difference in my skin when I used this. I definitely looked so much more glowy and illuminated and hydrated and just brighter once I had used this. I was really really impressed. I would definitely definitely repurchase this particular mask. I don't often say that about sheet masks because I think you know they are kind of hydrating and they're nice before an event but there's obviously no long-term benefits to any of them but this one I would totally buy it again. I would go out of my way to buy it again. So I really really like that one. I really really highly recommend that. Then the other four I've got two from Origins. So one of them is the raspberry one. One of them was orange. So the raspberry one is a refreshing sheet mask according to the top. The orange one is a radiance boosting one. Um, I mean I feel like these both definitely boosted my skin, they hydrated it, they made it look better because they gave it that intense hydration. I would definitely use them again, I've gone through a few of these in terms of like when I've been shopping at Origins in the past I've tended to chuck a couple of these into my basket and um, because they are only I think five or six pounds to buy. I like these and I'm sure I'll end up with more of them in the future. These were worth seven dollars each towards my reverse rouge total. The most expensive one was this one from SK2 so this was worth 16 dollars towards my reverse rouge total. I did like it but if I'm honest I just don't think I would ever actually spend that on a sheet mask. I feel like I've just said it so many times but there's just no long-term benefit to it so it's it's not something that I want to be spending $16 a time using. I feel like even the Patchology one at £8 for me to buy in the UK feels like, oh, it's a lot of money, but I do see a massive difference in my skin having used that one. Um, but even if I buy them to use them in the future, they'd be my special occasion sheet masks. Um, I don't think I would ever be investing in like super high-end sheet masks like this SK2 one. Having said that, I really like the Sarah Chapman one, but I think they're £40 for four, so they work out about £10 each, which is probably the absolute limit that I would go to. But yeah, $16 for one is just not what I'm going to pay for sheet masks. And the last one from Uzu, which was worth $8 towards my reverse rouge totals. So this was a nutrition one. It says nutrition. I think really all any of them do is give your skin some really good hydration and that kind of makes your skin 
you know, brighter and plumper and whatever as an add-on to that. And I did like it and I would definitely use it again if I got it again. But $8 towards my reverse rose total, you know, I think I'm much more likely with sheet masks to buy a box of like 10 sheet masks for £20 or something. Um, rather than buying them individually at like £8 a time or whatever. I don't foresee me repurchasing this one, but if I did end up with it again, I would happily use it again. In terms of body wash, I used one body wash up from Davines. It's the SU Hair and Body wash worth $24 towards my reverse rouge total. So this is from their Sun range, so it's a very, very hydrating one. And I did really like it. I really like the smell of it, so I would definitely buy it again next summer and use it up again. I also used up this, so this is from Origins and it's their Rituality Match of Madness. Now this is actually a body mask, but I just found I really wasn't using it as a body mask, so I used it almost just as a body scrub in the shower. This was worth $36 towards my reverse rouge total. I wouldn't repurchase it just given that I ended up using it as a body scrub rather than actually as a mask. Um, I also found it really difficult to get out through get out through this actual tube so as you can see I cut off the top and ended up just scooping it out with my fingers. Anyway I believe they might actually have discontinued these so I don't think they were a massive success overall. I do have another one that I think I got as a gift with purchase which I will finish up and I'll use it again as a body scrub in the shower but I wouldn't rush to repurchase this. I used up one body moisturiser, it's this one from Clarins and it's their body fit one which is supposed to be an anti-cellulite one now. I don't believe in any kind of cream that's going to fix your cellulite or any, not that it need, needs to be fixed like that's not even the word but I don't believe that any topical product is going to change the structure of your skin in terms of your fat cells and whatever that's going on underneath it like I just don't believe in it however as a body lotion putting its cellulite claims aside I really really enjoyed this and I would actually like to repurchase it. Quite expensive because this is in 100ml and it was worth $32.50 towards my reverse rouge total. But as you can see the 100ml is like a travel size, it's not the full size so I'm not sure what the actual full size is. Obviously it's going to be quite expensive but I did really really like it. It had a nice sort of tingling sensation to it that I really liked. So yeah I would actually, I really liked it in terms of the texture and the sort of tingling sensation that it gave. I just really enjoyed actually using it as a body lotion. I really, really liked it and I would repurchase it. I used up two foot products. So one of them was the Kiehl's Intensive Treatment and Moisturiser for drier callus areas, which I used on my feet. So that was worth $26 towards my reverse rouge total. It was a very, very thick balm that did take ages to sink in but I did feel it was very very good at moisturising my feet. I don't know if I'd rush to repurchase it again because I feel like there's other foot creams that do a similar job but I did like it and if I got it again I would use it up again. However I feel like the thing is I have put a lot of time and effort in the past into these moisturising creams and I feel like it's the other product that I've finished that actually is what makes a difference. And this is the second one of these that I've used up this year and this was a repurchase. I think I'll have to hold the camera so excuse me if it shakes. Um, so this is from OK and it is their exfoliating foot peel. So this was my second one that I used up. This makes such a difference. I'm so impressed with this. I repurchased this to replace it so you'll be seeing that in my next Money Tiny video. And yeah, I'm a big, big fan of these foot peels, but I feel like now because I've got into the habit of using these and realising how good they are, this now takes care of all sort of dead skin. And I feel like what I was doing in the past, which now sounds really, really silly because I would never have done it with any other area of my body, was like looking at like the super dry, cracked, like it sounds disgusting, but like build up of dead skin on my feet and then using these kinds of products and trying to like get rid of my cracked heels and whatever using them um, was actually using the peels and you know actually getting rid of that has meant then that I can use a more basic moisturiser and that just keeps the skin that comes through underneath the peel hydrated and looking half decent not that anyone's generally seeing my feet very often but yeah so I feel like because I'm using these now that's why I probably wouldn't bother investing in like a Kiehl's foot cream. I would just use a sort of bog standard skull foot cream or whatever now. 
Um, so yeah, I'm a massive, massive fan of these foot peels. Would highly, highly recommend them. If you haven't tried one out before, it just, it makes such a difference. I'm completely converted to these. Foot peels are the way forward. If you try anything from this video, try the foot peel. Honestly, like such a game changer. I used up one perfume and it's this from Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon Roll On. So this was worth $9.33 towards my reverse rouge total. Absolutely love this. Really, really like this scent. Would love to repurchase it. Believe it's been discontinued, unfortunately. The only thing I would say is that this is a rollerball. I don't really like a rollerball as a method of applying perfume. I prefer something I can spray on. So I wouldn't like another rollerball, but in terms of the actual scent, I would definitely like to own it again. Um, so yeah, I'm quite sad that it's been discontinued because it was a really lovely fragrance. Won't spend too much more time on it because I don't think you can get it anyway. I used up five sachets. I'm not going to talk about any of them individually because I feel like all a sachet is really good for is kind of making sure you're not allergic to something. It's obviously a one-use product, but for the sake of my totals, this is worth $5 towards my reverse rouge. And two other products that I don't have to show you because they have dissolved into my bath are two bath bombs that I finished up from Lush. So I finished up the Goddess, well didn't finish up, I used up the Goddess bath bomb and the Twilight bath bomb. So the Goddess one was worth $8.95 and the Twilight one was worth $7.95. Obviously they have dissolved away so I can't show you them. They were also there towards my skincare total. Total in terms of skincare I used 31 products up and they were worth a total of $575.65 towards my reverse rouge and makeup rehab goals. So that was all the skincare and this is all the makeup that I've used. So I've got three sashes worth $3. Um, so one of them is from Kiehl's and it's their Ultralight Daily UV Defense. This is their CC cream. Um, this is the shade one, so it's the lightest shade, but it was far too dark for me. I basically used it as an SPF and then had to put something over the top to take it down, so I wouldn't ever purchase the full size of this. And then I had two little sachets of the glossy cloud paints. So these were in the shades Puff, which is the pinky one, and Storm, which was the deeper one. I really like these, particularly Storm. Oh God, you can see we're in lockdown, um, in case you, you didn't realise that. Um, so my nails have very much grown up and, you know, need to be taken off and put back on. But I have an appointment for when lockdown hopefully lifts, so fingers crossed. But yeah, in particular, I really like this colour. However, I just prefer a powder blush generally in terms of the way that I apply my makeup. So I don't think I'd rush to purchase the full size of any of these. On to the actual, the non-sachet products that I used. One of them was the Blistex Medi Plus Lip Balm, which was worth $5 towards my reverse rouge total. I did like it. It worked as a lip balm. Obviously not the most glamorous or indulgent product to use. But yeah, I would get it again. It was fine. It definitely did its job. I prefer lip balms that are in a stick rather than a pot just because they're easier to use and you're not getting your fingers dirty and whatever. So that's what I would try and purchase in future. But it was fine. You know, if I had it again, I'd use it again. The other product that I used up was this primer sample from MAC. It was just their Prep and Prime primer and it was worth $6.60 towards my reverse rouge. And I really liked it. I would actually potentially go and purchase it. I felt like it really kind of smoothed out my skin and evened out my pores and things, but it didn't feel sort of cloggy or silicony either. I actually really really enjoyed it. It was the first time I'd ever used the MAC Prep and Prime even though it's such an iconic product and I can see why it's iconic. I would definitely definitely use it up. So in terms of makeup that was five makeup products worth $14.60 towards my reverse rouge total. All in all makeup and skincare together and um, there was no hair care used up in this empties video obviously. I used up 36 products worth $590.25 towards my Reverse rouge total slash makeup rehab, reducing my stash goals. Quite a successful one in terms of value, I think. As I say, we've got another two empties to get through, so hopefully by the end of the year I will have achieved my my makeup rehab goals. Um, but only time will tell. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will speak to you in my next one. Bye.